hey guys so in this video we are going to see how you can create access for your client so you can use your white labeled high level account now sometimes you have to create one access for your client sometimes he might have like multiple team members that he wants to add to the crm so i'm going to show what's the best way and what are the best practices to do this so here i am in one of the sub accounts let's assume i am a client and i want me to have access to this account right so i'm creating an account or i'm just creating an access for a client which is me so here i'm going to go to settings and i'm going to go to my staff and once again i'm in sub account level so let's create an employee i'm going to say my name here and here i'm going to write my own email and here the password will be whatever and if you come down here you can put the client's email signature as a code here or just like pretty snippet code here also in user permissions you just have to check if uh, you have shared all the features of the crm you want the client to use if you go to user roles the user must be a user definitely not an admin just an user like just a plain user call and voicemail settings nothing to do here availability the calendar hours you can fix them later calendar configuration the user has to do it uh, himself let's hit save so the user has been created for this client similarly if the client wants multiple people to have access to the same sub account this is the way you do it like just go to add employee and just keep adding employees right but what happens when the same client has two sub accounts and wants access through the same email and password at the same time you know so what happens then like there's one client he has two sub accounts and he wants the same login to access those two sub accounts just from here through the toggle feature so what you have to do in that case is you have to go to agency view you have to go to settings and then you have to go to team now i'm going to search my user that I just created. So this is the user that I created and I'm going to go to user roles. The user role will be always user for a client. It cannot be any agency or anything else, just user. And the user type will be account, definitely not agency, right? So it will be account and user. Otherwise, like they will be able to see all the sub accounts, which is not the best option here. And here add to account, you just have to come and add his second account th that he wants access to right so here you just have to write the account name and it will pop up and just select this that's it and then hit save so that's how you add a single user to multiple sub accounts by not making him any agency access or anything he just gonna have like a toggle here which is gonna allow him to switch over to like different accounts among those two so that's how you create an access for a client to his white labeled sub account. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.